Now let's solve this problem. Let S be the set of prime numbers greater than or equal to 2 and less than 100. Multiply all elements of S with how many consecutive zeros will the product end. That means we have to multiply all the prime numbers from 2 to 100. So it's 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 11 till it is 97. So we are having around 25 numbers to multiply. And after multiplying 25 numbers, we will be getting a unit digit. And what that unit digit is, that is 0. But we have to find out how many zeros will be there. Okay. So definitely if the question is asked in CAT examination, this approach which we are discussing may not be correct or may not be correct now it's not correct because the question and this uh, problems both of them are and logical okay so we have to think logically now how do we get a zero we get a zero with two and five combinations if we are having a single two and five combination we'll be getting single zero if we are having two two and five combination we will be getting two zeros. So if we are multiplying this sequence, how many 2 and 5 combinations we are getting? Okay, so it's 1 2 and 5 combination. Now after that we won't be getting any 2 and 5 combinations because any multiple of 2 will not be a prime number and any multiple of 5 further it won't be a prime number. Okay, so and this is a sequence of prime numbers. So we won't be getting any 2 and 5 combinations anymore. So there will be a single 2 and 5 combination. So there will be a single 0 at the end of the product. As simple as that. You need not multiply all the numbers. I hope you are clear.